Okay, number three here on the worksheet, again dealing with unit rates. Uh, a jet travels 510 miles in two hours. At this rate, how far could the jet fly in nine hours? What's the rate of speed of the jet? Okay. So usually rate of speed, uh, the, that last question they asked me, rate of speed usually has to deal with, uh, like think about it, how fast a jet travels, how fast a car travels. Here in America, in the States, we use miles per hour. So that's usually the rate we use. In other parts of the country, they use kilometers per hour, meters per second, feet per second. There's a whole bunch of different ways to measure the rate of speed. But in this example, it says 510 miles in two hours. So that's the data we can start with, 510 miles per two hours. Okay. At this rate, how far could the jet fly in nine hours? Okay. So to make this problem easier, let's find the unit rate of 510 miles per two hours. Again, let's make the hours into one hour. So how far can I travel per one hour? So in order to do that, let's do the math. 510 divided by 2 is going to give me 255 over 1. So 255 miles per one hour. Okay. So we always want my unit rate, my denominator, to be 1. Okay. So now how far can the jet fly? 9 hours. So I know that I'm going to go 9 hours, but how do I make the 1 a 9? You multiply it by 9, and whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And 255 times 9 is going to give me 200, or 2,295 miles per 9 hours. So, how far can the jet fly? 2,295 miles. And what was the rate of speed of the jet? Again, looking at the unit rate that we found, 255 miles per hour. Again, Usually you can write it like this to 250, oops, excuse me, wrong tool, 255 miles per hour MPH. But again, that's the unit rate, and that's where we get that from. So there's the answer.